Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to... So this is a different type of video here. I'm actually going to use a video from Demon Mexica, from this channel, Elite Mexica. Uh, this is a battle that took place in the sandbox. Now, I also want to use this video to tell all of you about something that we're going to be doing. Now, myself and Extreme and Bonkers will be hosting on the Fat Squatch channel a live stream where we will actually be commentating and reviewing battles. Now, if you want to submit your battle to Fat Squatch, Extreme, and Bonkers for this special live stream coming up in the future, make sure you click on the link that's in the description of this video. There you will be able to upload your video. Now, I highly recommend you join our Discord community, which you can find the link in the top right-hand corner of my channel or in the description of this video. That way you can connect with us if you have questions. But the most important thing is if you have one battle, only one battle you can submit for this live stream, okay? Because here's what's going to happen. Bonkers, Extreme, and Fat Squatch when they're done reviewing and commentating on these battles during the stream, we will actually select somebody, select a battle that we watched to be the best battle for the stream, and we will award you 7,000 tokens. All right? This is how we're going to do this one. It'll be coming up probably sometime in the beginning of March. So... I'm trying to give you guys enough time to record one battle that you want to submit. Make sure it's a good one. We will use it in the live stream. We will commentate on it together, all three of us, and we will judge it and we will give our input and review on it. Then at the end of the stream, we will select a winner to win 7,000 tokens. All right, let's jump into this battle, though, because I'm excited to watch this thing. Now, Demon Mexica is battling with his partner, Ares, okay? This is actually taking place in the sandbox, the sandbox we just had. This same battle, this video here, is on the Elite Mexica channel, okay? He wanted me to, to go ahead and do my review on it, my commentary. So let's jump into this battle. All right, you'll hear him talking in the background and some music. I've turned it down a little bit so that I can do my commentary, but I didn't want to completely get rid of it. You can see, you can read in English his commentary below there. Here we are. Demon, uh, Demon Mexica and Ares, okay? They're on the Oculus map. Here we go. Okay, so they didn't have premium, so we don't know who the enemy is yet. But here we go. He's getting his barracks down. One, two, three barracks. He's in the top left-hand corner right now, and Ares is in the bottom left-hand corner. He's getting a power plant and supply center here. And a factory. Okay. So this map is very interesting because it has that ring, that hill in the corners. Yes, goes around the edges. He's got his rifleman now going out. He's going to try to get those containers. Now, remember, it's in the sandbox, right? In that new update, you have to actually leave your unit on the container to get it. So that's going to make for some really exciting gameplay like this right here. You can see uh, the enemy's got assaults trying to grab the containers there. Okay, so using that vehicle attack boost for the Coyote. And that's one reason, that's why he got that factory up so fast. 
<laughs> so that's one thing I like about Demon Mexica. He does a great job, uh, and he has some good humor mixed into his, his videos, and I appreciate that. I apologize for the quality. Uh, this is the recording of his video and his uh, from his channel here. So there's parts where it gets a little bit grainy. That fortress is now come on over there to the coyotes. Oh, okay. He's got another supply center up. The other interesting thing about this map are the bridges. You kind of saw that bridge right there. If you get into the sea, you can put alligators or Vikings next to the bridges and really cut them off from using those bridges to come across. Okay. So his coyotes are able to uh, control the top of the map there for the moment because we're still in the early parts of the battle here. Only two and a half minutes. So he's going to move up to that top right-hand corner there, right above the enemy base. Like I said, there's that, that second level, that hill that goes around the outside on the Oculus map. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he's got some activity over there. There's a blue, I believe, blue, yeah, is up in the corner as well. So four supply centers now. And, okay. Now, he's not in the sea yet, but his partner, Ares, is in the sea. Yeah, Ares is in the sea trying to grab those containers. Green, or blue has, yeah, blue's in the sea and so is green. So both of the enemies have gone into the sea. Demon Mexica is going to build away, away from the sea. He's not going to get into the sea. Now he yeah he's gonna want to he put he's putting down a torpedo platform because he does not want deltas to come up on his beach right on the coast there you don't want the deltas to be able to come up there so he's getting a torpedo platform down and he'll just want to defend that coastline there otherwise he's building back away from the water so he's in good shape that way now you can see. Green is being scouted right now down there in the bottom right. Yep, and there is the there's the delta I was talking about. The yellow's got a coyote up there to try to help out a little bit. But that blue delta is going to get up in there, and I don't know why blue's sticking around to fight the coyote. You think blue would have just moved right up into the land there to scout him out, but he didn't. All right, so those coyotes are going to move in now to try to scout out Blue's base here. Blue's got a bunker down, though. Bunker is down, and he's got some hammers, so those coyotes are going to have to retreat back to base. Yeah, he's got one sniper tower. Going to put up a gun tower now, though, because of that hammer he saw. Okay. So far, Blue's had deltas, hammers, assaults, and a fortress. Oh, man. You can see that's funny. There's a container next to yellow or Aries uh, naval platform there. And then up at blue, there's also a container that was there. Okay. So Demon Mexica got that, that uh, naval platform up just in time, you guys, just in time. Oh, yeah, they were trying to communicate. They were actually trying to communicate through the uh, voice chat. I think they were having issues with that. All right. You see Blue's up in that corner there. Upgrading the factory. Putting up some more defense there, another sniper tower. And he's getting scouted from behind here on the backside. That's another thing that's interesting about this map. You've got those entrances behind your base. You've got to be really careful. I love to use those entrances to attack my enemy. Coming up on the hill there, you can apply pressure from the top of the hill behind the base and in the front. Okay. 
Oye, brother, este, voy a irme con mamuts. Oh, man. Para que te prepares, ¿vale? Y Ares me dijo, sí, 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 no hay falla, yo te apoyo. Explora el punto A. De que también el verde iba por... So not a whole lot of activity right now in the water. But we'll see if that changes. He's upgrading that factory again, so he's going to have jaguars here in a moment. And granite deers, it looks like. We haven't seen any heroes yet. We'll see if they use heroes in this one since they're in the sandbox. So porcupines, okay. Oh, nice. Get another torpedo platform up. Blue is upgrading that HQ uh, at seven and a half minutes. And he's got some hammers there. Three barracks. Ares has got some alligators coming out and hawks. So he's going air and sea, but I, I see green down there. And green looks like he's being pretty aggressive. He's got, I'm not sure what that is down there, if it's units or actually buildings or defensive structures or a wall. Let's see if we get a glimpse of that here in a little bit. Here we go, here we go. So yeah, there's green. Ah, bunkers, he got bunkers up there. Okay, interesting. So here comes Ares with his hawks, taking a look at what Green has there. So nice placement of the bunkers for Green. And here comes that Jaguar. It's got Jaguars and Grenadiers coming out. Scout on the bridge just to make sure Green's not coming up to help Blue or vice versa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three, yeah, he's got three naval platforms. That should do the job for now. Unless Blue and Green, you know, decide to attack red but that wouldn't make any sense because they see he's built away from the water so they're probably not going to waste their their energy there yeah you want to try to get to that factory there before it is done upgrading and uh yo oh yeah let's see here another is that another supply center very nice he's going to have it looks like he's trying to move his guys up onto the hill, too. We've got Ares is, is starting to attack with alligators, or he's being attacked. And his alligators are defending the water there. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Oh, man. So he's got a mammoth there. And is that oh some snipers too? Okay, coyote, jaguar, snipers, and grenadiers. Mammoth, jaguar, yeah. So he's preparing to slowly move up on green here, or blue. He's got some guys up on the hill, too, just to make sure blue's not trying to sneak behind him. He's upgrading the HQ. Another factory on the way. A couple factories on the way here. And here goes Ares, but look, you can see there's Vikings now. In the water there. And cyclones. Okay, cyclones. Preparing for chameleon. You can see there's Zeus there too now. 
Vortex y dije, esto, esto pinta cabrón. Así que rápidamente... Yeah, I gotta get the anti-air up. Aéreas. Hay que posicionarlas en la parte delante de la base. All right, more power, very good. En la parte delante porque... And... We'll see what happens here. So, for the most part, Ares has gone air and sea, and Demon Mexica has gone all land. And that's kind of what it looks like they're planning to do here. We'll see how well that works out for them. Ultimately, they're going to need to work together here, I think, to take out one of these bases. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Ah. Yes, 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 yes. Here comes Green, it looks like. Is Green coming over? Some activity down there at the bottom. We're going on, we're going on 13 minutes. Everybody's been preparing. It looks like he's about he's laying down some mines. Okay. That's not a bad idea. We'll see what uh, blue comes out here with. Or if green is going up to blue, that could happen. Here comes Aries, though. He's going to try to scout blue a little bit. Yeah, upgrading that. He was upgrading that uh, naval factory to Poseidon. And those Poseidon can make it if they can take out those naval platforms. They'll be able to reach Demon Mexico's base, which is a bad thing with that range. Chameleon on the way. Yes, Chameleon on the way. More Coyote and Porcupine. All right. Yeah, he's only... He knows he's going to be running out of time here. He's going to need to make a move here soon. The longer you give the confed players, the stronger and stronger they'll get because they really get bunkered in and really comfortable. All right. Nice job, Aries. Nice support there with those Hawks. And you can see what Blue's got up front there. Man, it would be nice if he could sneak some Mammoth up onto the hill uh, right above where Blue's uh, guys are and then and then attack from from that left side. And they, would, they wouldn't know what to do with those Mammoth up on the hill. That would be fun to see, too. He's going to get that construction yard down. He's, I think he's going to put it in the back here. Yeah, because he's got to make more room. He doesn't want to build up front. Okay, there we go. So he's, he blew up that... He blew up... He had to blow up a supply center, unfortunately, to get that space there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, so he's... He's expanding now. He's going to try to get some... Uh, I'm guessing he's going for Hawks. Let's see what happens here. Okay. And this, I guess this is on a live stream that he did. So that's cool. All right. Let's see what he does. So he's going to move in front of the... He's moving in front of the mines, which my suggestion would be to go above the mines, right at the entrance there of the hill. But he's, he's moving in front of them now. Okay, so he's got the chameleon out. 
And that's why Blue's got those Cyclones, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's about right. That's about right. <laughs> the mighty chameleon. All it takes is a cyclone. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. So he's going to retreat now. He's going to retreat. He's falling back. Here we go. And, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, man. Look at that. But he's able to regather his troops there. I, I would highly recommend going up on the hill a little bit and just... Uh, Making him come to you. All right, he's got those porcupine in the front there. Some jags, but man, he's going to have to retreat again. Blue's making his way, kind of pushing, pushing forward here. Oh, boy. And down below there, guys, yeah. Aries is engaging green. Maybe we'll get a chance to see that down there. Blue's got one hammer. Not anymore. Not anymore. Adios, Blue. My goodness. Oh, here come the Poseidon I was talking about earlier. Yes, the Poseidon. So now the Poseidon can actually help control the map there at the top. So he's, yeah, he's going up now, up to that top of the hill there, where, which is where I would recommend going, right up there, yep. It's going to be quite, quite an interesting engagement right there. You can see, look at that, Ares is pushing slowly. Making some progress there on Green's base. He was able to get rid of those bunkers down there. There's the mammoth. But here comes Poseidon. And this is what I was worried about. Those Poseidon, they're coming to get him. Look at that range. But Ares, Ares is making some progress down there at the bottom with Green's base. Look at that. He's down there. You can see a some yellow down there. But it looks like he's gonna ha he's retreating a little bit. Uh, those, yeah. Here, here. So here come the Poseidon Blues. Poseidon Hawks are on the way. There you go. That's exactly what I would want you to do. You've got their attention. They think all your forces are up there at the by in the front of your base. Smart scout for Blue, though, so Blue can see you're on the hill. Yeah. Here we go. Now, there's a couple entrances he could he could use. I think he's going to go right from the top here. Is he going to go around the backside? Very nice. Nice. Go to that second entrance. Yes. Make his units come back to the corner here. And use that higher ground. Yeah. He's got another chameleon as well coming out. Ares is trying to help with those hawks to try to take out those Poseidon. And we've got Blue's got Vertex. Yeah. Okay. Look at all. He moved all his Zeus right there. They're just waiting. So I would go, I would, yeah, I would just head right down to Green's base, to be honest with you. That's what I would do. Come on, head down to Green's base, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Oh, they're okay. So here we go. Blues making his way. Those hawks are doing what they can. Oh my gosh! 
Is he gonna is he gonna take those guys down the side? Looks like it. Very good. Head down to Green's base because your partner can attack from the front. You attack from the back. That would be the that would be great. That would be absolutely awesome. You just gotta keep those Poseidons away somehow. Maybe some mammoth. There you go. Yep, come right there. There you are. Yep, that's exactly what you want to do. That's what's great about this map, you guys. Lots of different options and ways to work together. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Let's see how he handles. What will Demon Mexica do? Oh, no. Problem with the stream. Oh, man. He lost the connection. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. Yep. Mammoth. Going to move a drag to the front. All right. Here we go. You can see Aries is at the front of Green's base here. Hopefully they can zoom out and let us see both, uh, both sides here being attacked. That's the great thing about this game. I love the way you can zoom in and out and get different angles. It's a, it's great. It's absolutely awesome. Okay, here we go. Nice move. They were not expecting that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's exactly what you want to do. All right. Just keep, keep Blue busy right there. Now, Blue had a lot of Zeus, so we'll see if Blue decides to attack. Uh, Demon Mexico's base there with his Zeus or come down to help Green. We'll see. What will Blue do? Because his partner's in bad shape. Green is hurting right now. Green is uh, really a getting attacked here. Now, if I was Demon Mexico, I would move towards the water, move away from the hill because Zeus's might be coming down to help. All right. Those Poseidons have moved in closer, but he's got those hawks and the mammoth here. And that jag right up in the front. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. So good teamwork down there in the bottom right hand corner. Aries and Demon Mexica able to get the job done on Green's base. Very nice. Okay. Blue, I'm surprised Blue hasn't done anything yet, really. I wonder what he's going to do. His, his, his uh, partner's pretty much done. Yeah, there. Oh, here comes Blue's Vertex. Yeah. But Green, Green is definitely out of it now. Yeah. Yeah, he had to activate that chameleon because of those those vertex. Yep, gonna get under that fog to protect those units. Now, Blue, remember Blue has a bunch of Zeus, but it looks like Blue's trying to camp it out now and use vertex. Probably gonna go to the space strike, I'm guessing. Green's got some Vikings still. How are you going to get to those, those uh, C buildings and units? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Very good. All right, now we're going to speed this up a little bit. Here we go. All right, now he's engaging blue right now. Here we go. Green's out of it. Now Ares has the Vikings. He's going to move those Vikings up. You can see them there in the mini-map coming up to blue's base. And he's got the land units he can move up to the bottom of blue's base while Demon Mexica is pushing and pressuring 
the front here, front top. That cyclone, though, revealing what's in this in the chameleon cloud here. Need some porcupine. Oh, and yeah, hawks. Hawks are going at it with the vertex here. Nice. Come on, get them. Got the mammoth in the back. Oh, but those vertex. As long as you can keep those cyclones from revealing it. But we got the nuke coming now. Here comes the nuke. Yes, the nuke is on the way. Oh, boy. Yes. Very nice. Oh! Ares drops the bomb on him. And uh, that's going to hurt. That's really going to hurt, Blue. And he had some Zeus back there, I believe. So, some units were back there as well. Not a whole lot in the front of Blue's base now, so... Demon Mexico can push and stay close to the water here on that coastline. You just kind of chip away, chip away at the blue base here. Excellent, excellent uh, job and great teamwork working together to defeat the enemy. No heroes were used. I didn't see any heroes. But again, we love to see the new graphics and the new updates here. And changes are coming. Very good. And the enemy surrenders. There we go. Very good. Hey, congratulations. Congratulations to you, Demon Mexica and Ares, on your victory in the battle on the sandbox. Yes. Fantastic job on the Oculus map. That's how it's done, you guys, using the outside ring of the hill, ultimately moving down to Green's base and working together to eliminate Green and then being able to work on Blue. Very good battle. Thirty over thir Just over 30 minutes. Excellent, excellent, excelente. All right, guys. Gracias. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget, you guys, if you want to enter one battle, you can do one battle. Use the link in the description of this video to upload your battle. All right? Good luck, everyone. We'll see you all in the next battle. Oh, yeah.